types of errors. What are the kinds of errors we could have? Let us quickly go through them. They are referred to as errors of omission, commission, principle, etc. Let us just understand. Errors of principle. What is an error of principle? Errors of... There are some rules like usually error of principle arises when a capital expenditure has been taken as a revenue expenditure or a revenue expenditure has been taken as a capital expenditure. Error of principle. Errors of omission when we omit to either record a transaction or post a transaction. Omission, that is an error of omission. Errors of commission could be posting to a wrong account, could be wrong totaling, totaling mistake. While posting we take a wrong amount, etc. So other errors that you commit, those are errors of commission. Compensating errors, maybe two or more errors, in such a manner that the balance is even out and the trial balance agree. If there has been too much credit due to, there has been an excess credit of 50,000 due to two journal entries, there is an excess debit of the same amount due to another three entries. Together, these errors compensate one another and the trial balance tends to agree. These three errors are also called clerical errors. So basically errors may be clerical errors or non-clerical errors. The errors of omission when you omit an entry either to record or to post. When there are other errors you commit like totaling, wrong account, wrong amount, etc. Compensating errors where because you have made 3-4 errors, the totals of the debit side and the credit side coincidentally happen to tally. These errors are clerical errors. An error of principle where you need to know the rules, the principles behind posting to particular accounts. This is a non-clerical error. Like I said, wages paid for installation of machinery should be debited to machinery account. But if somebody has insta taken it to wages account, it would be a case of error of principle. Let us look at each of these types of errors a little more in detail. Principle. Errors of principle. Capital expenditure may be treated as revenue expenditure. Take an example, machinery purchased. If machinery is purchased, it is a capital expenditure. It is a capital expenditure. If this has been entered in the purchase day book, if you enter this in the purchase day book, the effect of this entry is that purchases account is debited and creditor is credited. Assuming that this machinery is purchased on credit, it should ideally have gone to the journal proper where we would have said machinery account debit to creditor for machinery. So instead of debiting machinery account, we have wrongly debited purchases account. Instead of this capital expenditure, we have treated it as revenue expenditure. Next one, maybe revenue expenditure is treated as capital expenditure. What is an example? Maybe stationery has been purchased. It has been taken to the cost of computer account. We have bought stationery, should have gone as expense, stationery account debit to cash. Instead, stationery, instead of debiting stationery, we have maybe debited computer account by mistake. So, revenue expenditure Stationery was treated as computer, as a capital expenditure computer. If capital receipt is treated as a revenue receipt, sale of old furniture. When we sell old furniture, that much of the asset balance comes down. The amount we receive on account of this asset is called, the amount equivalent to the book value of the asset 
would be equal to it would actually be a capital receipt but if we take it to sales account or post this in the sales or record this in the sales table then instead of crediting furniture we end up crediting sales which is a revenue item again a mistake suppose revenue receipt is taken as a capital receipt rent received is a revenue receipt instead of taking this to rent account we take it to landlord's account a person's account as if there is a liability to pay to the landlord these are some examples of an error of principle error of certain rule where we do not where we are we distinguish capital and revenue expenditure or capital receipt and revenue uh, capital receipt and revenue receipt wrongly revenue receipt posted as capital receipt or vice versa capital expenditure treated as revenue expenditure or vice versa <clears throat> next is errors of omission errors of omission may be omission of a transaction we omit an invoice is not recorded in the purchase table omission of posting we do not post to say a particular person's account partial omission of posting credit sales not recorded like we had said before trial balance would agree this is an example of omission of a transaction so credit sales is not recorded omission of a transaction trial balance will agree omission of posting cash purchase is recorded in cash book not posted to purchase account obviously trial balance will not tally this is an example of an omission of posting partial omission of posting cash is received discount allowed customers account is posted with cash received not the amount of discount these are certain examples of omission of transaction posting or partial omission of posting errors of commission may be while casting may be while posting the errors committed these are errors of commission amount debited to x's account instead of y's account total of the purchase day book is wrong balance of cash book is not taken to trial balance etc these are errors of commission let us also look at errors compensating errors where two or more errors the net effect of which is net for example purchase is overcast by 10000 x is wrongly credited for 1000 salaries is undercast by 9000 so what happens purchase is overcast what is cast what is casting casting is nothing but totaling casting is totaling overcast means higher total more total so now what what do we have as a result of this 10000 is more x is wrongly credited for 1000 so now we have x more credit for 1000 and salaries is undercast by 9000 salaries is actually a debit item total we have done we have done less let us say 9000 is less on the debit side if you see the net effect there are three mistakes but as a result of this the debit side is excess by 1000 credit side is also excess by 1000 and therefore the trial balance will tally so these are called compensating errors where two or more errors are kind of compensated one another in such a manner that the trial balance agrees <clears throat> the same errors that we had discussed a quick thing about whether they were errors of omission commission etc when we omit to record a transaction it's an error of omission but if we record a wrong amount partial omission of a transaction is also omission sorry when we record a wrong amount that's an error of commission transaction recorded in a wrong book could be an error of commission or principal because we were not aware when the when it is on account of negligence it's commission but when we are not aware of whether it should have gone into the sales day book or the 
journal proper it could be an error of principal <clears throat> transaction if it is recorded twice again it's an error of commission wrong totaling of subsidiary books is also an error of commission of course we have already done when the trial balance tallies and when it does not while posting if you omit posting it's omission partial omission of posting also is error of omission but a wrong amount posting wrong account posting posting to the wrong side of a correct amount or the wrong side of wrong account are all errors of commission after posting wrong balancing of the account is an error of commission omission of the account from a trial balance is an error of omission wrong totaling of the trial balance or taking trial balance to the wrong side is also omission 